All right, I am about to get going here. I took my time, set up the laser, took my measurements on this side, just like I was doing on the other side when I was fixing the problem that I had. And I discovered that there was a little bit of difference in the flatness of this wall. Basically, it's about three quarters of an inch difference from the outside to the center. And then as you go back out to the outside, heading out, when I hit this point, it was five eighths again. And since that is as high, that's as far as that wall is gonna go because I'm making that wall with a 16 foot piece. I am not terribly concerned. I'm gonna adjust the middle here. I'm gonna make some adjustments in the middle of this wall so that everything is even as it goes across and it's nice and level. And first thing I'm gonna do before I get started is I'm gonna put some blocks on that other side. So I'm going ahead and doing this now before I do the, the rest of the rafters because it's really difficult to get over here. I don't fit through these little things very easily. It was not pleasant trying to squeeze through to get to those pieces of plywood on the other side. Maybe you can cut down on the banana bread. Oh, my wife just told me I should cut down on the banana bread. She's a little upset with me because she made me a banana nut muffin and I ate it. It wasn't a loaf, it was a muffin. It was a mini loaf. It was a top, it was, it was the size of this orange thing right here. It was big. All right, that's blocked, nice, nice. Pretty happy with that. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this wall. Got a few things I gotta do first. I put this flooring up here just temporarily so that I could have some place to walk around when I was working on this stuff. But for the placement of this wall that I gotta put up, I gotta pull this out of the way. Well, that was a bit of a goat rodeo, but we got it up there. Now we just need to stand the wall up, make sure it's plumb and nail it in. Thank you. 
Using this like a rifle sight, shooting straight over exactly into that other wall. That is beautiful. <laughs> Underneath, and if you do that, you're not gonna be able to get it back out. But it's a little crooked, babe. Hey. Trim it. <laughs> you just Trim like, it. You're just like plastic me. Sweet mother of God. <laughs> Trim it. <laughs> All you need to do is take about an eighth of an inch off. Give me your hammer. Trim it. Give me your hammer. If you beat it down in there, you won't be I'm able not. to get it out. I'm not. I have to get it out. Hit down from there. No, I can't. Yes, get down. because the other side's higher. Then you can lift the other side up. See, look, it fits. Lift. It doesn't fit. It does fit. Trim it. Does it does fit. <laughs> you know, I was worried about the wall. Like three times. Trim it. <laughs> That's not bad. That was your first cut. That's not bad. So I taught her how to use the saw today so that she could go ahead and finish filling in the framing on these windows. And that was the first cut she's made, so that's pretty good. Beating it down with a hammer is not gonna be pretty good. Well, if you can see in the distance there, we got that wall up, got it in place. I checked it with the laser. It's exactly the way it should be. Tomorrow I'm gonna get up here, rock and roll, see if I can't get all the rest of those rafters in place. See you then. Well, yesterday was uncommonly calm up here, and today is windy, which is pretty normal. It's not terribly windy, but it's enough that it's gonna be a little bit annoying and try to push some stuff down. So we're just gonna get busy and see what we can get done up here. We spent the morning in the orchard taking care of the trees. Now we gotta start setting up to get up here and put the rest of the rafters on. Before I put those other rafters on, I'm going to pull that black plastic back and sink a 2x6 down into the top of these SIPS panels. That's something that we did not do when we were putting all the walls in. And it's got to be done, and if I put the rafters in place first, it's going to be really difficult to get to them. I should have done that on the other side, but I went ahead and put the rafters up, and that's going to be a chore to get that up. On this side, since it actually the outside sits a little bit lower, it would be even more difficult to try and do it from just putting the ladder up on the outside. So I'm going to go ahead and knock that out. As I said, before I get busy on this on the rafters here, I want to go ahead and put the top plate into this SIPS panel. Now this is a 16 foot span right here. It actually runs about 23 feet all the way to the top, but this is a 16 foot span all the way right here. I need to pull this plastic back so it does not come over in the wind and then put this board in and nail it in. I may just have to take this plastic down. I don't really want to because I want to pull it back over when I'm done, keep the rain off of the wood, but it is what it is. I'll have to figure it out.
that may not have been too elegant but it got done and that's all that really matters and while i've been up here doing this my bride has been on the other side cutting all the pieces that go in the bottom of the windows and she's got them all laid out ready for me to come down foam and nail in so she's already got this side completely done she's only got about three windows left on the other side i'm going to come down and start getting some of those in place then we'll come back and work on these rafters That's four down. I got 10 more to go. I'm gonna turn the camera off, come back to it when I'm done. That is perfect. Yay. Well, I spent a great deal of time yesterday up here with the laser, agonizing over every little detail, making sure that everything was going to be level, making sure that everything with that wall was going to be level, and making sure that that, left, that wall was plumb, the measurements from the top of that wall to the top of the next wall were correct, and the measurements from the base of that wall to the base of the next wall were correct. I just cut my template, put it up there, perfect, spot on. I'm very happy with it. I need to take that, use it to cut 12 more, and then I'm gonna put them up there. It is three minutes after five. It's gonna start getting dark here about 7.15. I can probably get this done tonight. Well, I have the rest of my rafters cut, and six minutes after six, I think I got this. The question is always, who's gonna win, me or the sun? Today, I think it's going to be me. I have to get up here and mark this 16 inches on center because I haven't marked the top plate yet for where I'm going to set the rafters. Well, I've got all my marks in place. I'm gonna start pulling these things up, setting them in place, and two on this end, two on that end, and then bring them together in the middle. Ah, that didn't work. Try that again. That's annoying. That one went in. And that one went in. We will just leave those ugly things right there. Now, the sun beat me down, but not by much. And it's still a quarter to seven, and technically I've still got another hour of daylight. 
I got all the rafters in. I'm gonna come back up in that little gap right there. I'm gonna put a block in and tighten it up. Put an architectural screw in from the side and pull it together. And I'm also gonna come back through and put some architectural screws from underneath into these rafters to hold them. Nothing's gonna take them off. But this side is done with the exception of blocking and some additional supports. As someone pointed out to me after they saw one of my videos, I need to have a span of support that goes across here to hold this little piece right here up in place because there's nothing underneath of it. And it will be. Both sides. But feeling pretty good. Pretty good weekend. While I was up here, taking measurements my wife was running around and cutting the bottom plates for the windows because when we put them in we didn't put those in we just covered it with plastic she cut all of those I'm pretty proud of her because before yesterday she'd never used the saw she got every one of them I went around sealed them with foam nailed them in it's done it saved me a ton of time the best part about it is we got a lot of other stuff around here to build. That means I can be up on a ladder, give her a measurement, and she can cut me a piece of wood. That is awesome. I'm gonna let y'all soak this picture in with me for just a minute. And if you don't think that's beautiful, then brother, we are not cut from the same cloth. Cause that is one of the prettiest things I've ever seen. Well, I gotta say, I'm pretty pleased with what we got accomplished this weekend. I love being up here, the quiet, the solitude, especially now with all the stuff that's going on. It gives me time to reflect while I'm working. And I know how incredibly lucky we are, how fortunate we are for the things that we've got up here, and the opportunity to have a little bit of space of our own. Hope you all enjoyed it. Come on back, check us out again. We'll be here. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button too. See you next time at Break Hard Orchard.